Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. This is my mock of a modern surf shop and it also has a climbing wall facility. This is actually a remock of the Lego Beach Hut set 31035. I know you might be thinking it looks nothing like the Beach Hut. Well, it's because technically, to be correct, it is a remock of a remock. When I first remade the Beach Hut, I did transform it into a surf shop. But I told myself that it needed an update. I wanted it to look more modern and more fitting for my Brick Beach, which is a tourist beach in my Lego city, Small Brick City. And personally, I'm really happy with the result. In my original setup, I had the beach hut on my beach and I had the rock climbing wall as a separate build on the rock face of my beach. But what I've done is to combine the two together because I think it really makes the surf shop much more interesting, more vibrant, and actually it also frees up space for my brick beach. I do not have to worry about the space because originally the wall was perpendicular to the beach hut, so I had to have space for the wall and space for the beach hut. Now that it is a two-in-one, all I need is space on this side here, freeing up some space on the beach, so it really works out well. Let me give you an overview of the build first and then I'll highlight some key points. If you do want to watch me build this in real time, do check out the video where I built this from start to finish. You can check out the link in the card above or in the description below. Now, if you notice there are several miscellaneous builds around. This part over here, we see the minifig and this device. This is actually a auto belay machine or I guess a device and that's really a safety line to hold the climber in place. Now, this auto belay as well as the minifig will actually be on my beach. So it's not on a separate base plate, it's actually on the base plate which represents the sand for the beach. But uh, because I'm showing you this display isolated from my city for now, I've placed it on the base plate. The same goes for this surfboard rack. This will be on the beach in front of the surf shop, uh, not as part of the build, but often if you see you know, surf rentals or rentals for boats and stuff, often the surfboards and the rentals are separate from the actual uh, shop that you go and book or rent the different equipment from. This is the minifig who's in charge of the shop as well as the surfboards. So I'll put this aside for now and let's have a look at the build itself. One of the key features of the surf shop besides the rock climbing wall is this 3D sign. And this 3D sign is one of the very first signs that I've ever made. In fact, I believe it's the first 3D sign I've ever created for an early mock when I modified the pet shop. And I actually placed a skate and surf shop in the second floor of the pet shop. If you'd like to check out that old video, check out the link in the card above or in the description below. And this 3D sign is basically a mannequin of a surfer surfing on a wave. Now that I look at it, even now, even though I created it, about one and a half years ago, I think I did a pretty decent job. It really looks like a wave and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out and I think it still holds up till today. And I basically incorporated it as a whole into this build. The build itself is very simple. It's basically a cube. However, to make it more interesting, you've got all these elements which breaks out from the straight edges of the cube. So the rock climbing wall, this 3D sign, the surfboard sign, and even the simple yellow slopes, they break out from the straight edges, which is why it looks visually interesting. I kept the colors of the original beach hut because I think they do fit the beach and I did want to pay homage to the original build. I didn't want it to go so completely off that it's unrecognizable. So that's why I kept the colors. These windows originally were one brick higher, but Blockhead UK, she pointed out that uh, to be realistic, it should be lower and I agree with her and it turns out much better because now with the lower windows, you can really see into the store, especially if you're a minifig, you know, looking around curiously, you get to see everything inside and it's really attractive. You really want to open the door and go inside. And also because there's an air conditioning unit, and the beach is very hot, so you want to go in for some cool air. I'll show you the inside in just a bit, just show you an all around view first. Uh, the back is pretty simple, some windows and there's this ladder for the rock climbing instructors to climb up uh, because they're the safety officers of the uh, rock climbing wall. The rock climbing wall itself 
uh, this particular design is inspired by a design or mock from Gene3S who posted his mock on mockpages.com. Uh, this is a different build technique but definitely inspired by him. Uh, maybe I made different changes in how it's connected but the whole idea of a vertical artificial rock climbing wall with this angled out overhang uh, that all comes from him. Uh, he also had some kind of a belay system but I changed it to an auto belay system. Uh, by the way, if you ever do anything with rope and you need uh, it to be shortened, you do not want to cut the rope, you can just use a Technic connector like this and it forms like a, it's like a cable tensioner, like in real life. So you basically just sleeve it over the rope just like that and it becomes a tensioner. So it helps you keep the rope together and you don't have to cut excess rope. This particular build comes from the people at the well the outdoor fun pack that's um, the uh, people pack the outdoor fun pack the most recent one and i thought it was great to incorporate it as well as kind of a junior climb before you try the more advanced climb that's basically the build uh, i share a lot more of the build techniques in my previous video so do check that out i want to keep this relatively short let's have a top view of the build and i'll show you the inside as well I designed the roof for this surf shop to be modular so it can be removed but first let me show you some details. For the roof design, I went with something that suggests it is an activity facility so I added guardrails all around as design and some modified plates to act as gutters. There's a air conditioning unit and this overhang for the rock climbing wall that's attached to the roof. So when you remove it, it goes off with the roof and this part of the wall is attached to the side of the surf shop. Let's have a look inside. And on the inside, you see exactly what you expect to find in a surf shop. There's a whole row of surfboards connected to the wall. There are some over here for display. And in that corner, you can see a very nice rack of sunglasses or goggles. This particular setup is created by Brian Laos, which is part of his sushi shop and surf shop. So I borrowed that idea and it's really great. Well, I didn't just borrow it because I did buy the plans for a shop. So I have every right to incorporate it into my own build. In the center over here, there's a display unit. And let me try to show it to you from all sides. It's got a display of scuba gear, there are flippers. There's also a cash register. And I designed this so that it can be a center display in the shop because there's not much room uh, and because of the windows, I can't place it against the windows if it was in against the wall display. So I decided to create a 3D display with glass panels on both sides so that minifigs can actually look at the displays all around and it fits in the center of the build. Here's the modern surf shop placed into my Lego city, Brick Beach to be specific. As you can see, it blends in really nicely. There's now lots of space all around and I think it's really attractive. If I'm a minifig tourist, I'll definitely be attracted to the shop and would like to check it out much more than the previous one. I hope you enjoyed this video and the look at my modern surf shop. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Lots more cool mocks coming your way. Talk to you soon.